In this quick Tips and Tricks HQ tutorial video, I will outline how the member sign up scenario one for eMember works. In this scenario, a visitor lands on your site and is interested in gaining access to your hidden content. To do this, they must first become a member. They follow a join us link that then outlines the different memberships available. Each membership has varying access and material. The customer then signs up to a free membership or purchases one of the paid memberships available. The sign up process requires the visitor to fill in a registration form for a free membership or follow an email link to a paid registration form. I will now demonstrate the typical flow of events for this scenario. We'll have a look from a customer's point of view. This customer will purchase a membership to gain access to protected website content. I have here a website that focuses on homemade recipes. A customer comes to this website and sees premium recipes. They try and click on one such as the best spaghetti bolognese and they realise that they have to be a member to see this content. This customer really wants to know how to make the best spaghetti bolognese. So they go ahead and they're not a member, so they click the Join Today link. This takes the customer to a page that explains all the memberships available. They scroll down and they say that there's one free membership that they could sign up to, or one, two, three paid memberships. They read all about each membership and then decide that the monthly chef membership that is a membership that allows them one month of access to a large variety of recipes is perfect for them. They go ahead and they click on the buy now button. After clicking the buy now button, the customer is directed to PayPal where they'll need to pay for their membership. For the purpose of this example, I'll only be paying one cent. Now that the payment is successful, and I'll return to seller's website. I've been directed to a thank you page. The thank you page states that to complete my registration, I'll need to log in to my email and follow the link. Once I logged into my email, I had a message containing the unique registration link. After clicking on the link in the email, I was taken to the registration page for the specific membership I paid for. If I scroll down, you can see that I've got to enter in some details to be able to register. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. So I'll give myself a username. I'll need to enter in a password. My email is already there for me and the membership level that I'm a part of is there. And so is a first and last name. I can now click the register button. You can now see that my registration is complete and I'll need to log into the website. In the settings menu of eMember, there is actually an option to make it so the members are logged in automatically after they register. But in this tutorial, I'll just be manually logging in. Click on login, and this brings me to the member login page. I'll need to enter my username and password that I just put into the registration form. After that, I'll click login. As you can see, all my details are here and I'm part of the monthly chef membership. I'll now be able to see the content intended for monthly chef membership users. Now if I go and try and access hidden content, such as the best spaghetti bolognese recipe, I'll be able to see it. That brings me to the end of the core flow for membership scenario one. I'll now show you how you can quickly set up this so that you can create it on your own WordPress site. I've now returned to my WordPress dashboard where I'll show you the basic setup required for this scenario. For an in-depth explanation on the setup of eMember, you'll need to visit our documentation page. The first step would be to create the required membership level. So under WP eMember, you can see membership level, you'll need to click on that menu. Here you'll need to click add new, and you'll need to create the membership level. You'll need to choose the default WordPress role and a subscription duration and then submit. The membership level will show up here. We'll now need to protect content for this level. So if I was to go to pages, I'll just demonstrate with the Easter baking document. I could go down the bottom 
and I can allow the golden member to see this page. See, that's yes, protect this content, and it's protected now for the golden membership and gold membership. I'll go up and I'll update that. Now that we've hidden this content for a specific membership level, we'll need to locate our Join Us page. So if you click on Pages and you scroll down, you'll see a page that says Join Us. Click on that. The Join Us page comes with a simple template that you'll need to customise to suit your site. The following Join Us page I've customised to suit my website. You can see I've got one free membership here. And if I go down further, I've got three paid memberships. Each of these memberships have their own button short code. These short codes then display a buy now or subscribe now button on the front end of my site. The join us page is where you can describe each of your memberships and attempt to sell them to your members. For example, my Gold Chef membership tells the customers that they get unlimited access to gold membership content and just some of the recipes that are included with this subscription. These short codes are created under the payments menu of WP eMember. So I'll just show you how you can do that now. So if you went to WP eMember and clicked on the payments menu, it'll bring you to this page here. You'll need to create a new button for each membership that you're trying to sell. So you can choose to do a buy now button or a PayPal subscription. For now, I'll just be doing a PayPal buy now. So I'll go next. I'll now show you how I'll configure the PayPal Buy Now button for my golden membership. So I'll need to give my button a title. I need to choose the membership from the drop down. So this one will be for my golden members. I'll need to choose how much they'll need to pay to be a part of this membership, what currency I would like them to pay in, and I can enter my thank you page URL here. For now, I'll just leave this blank, but you can enter your thank you page URL. In the PayPal email, I'll enter my PayPal email address and I'll leave the button image URL field blank, but you can customize the look of the button using this field. I'll save my payment data and I've now created a button. So it's shown here for golden member. I can simply copy this short code and then I can paste this into my join us page. So if I go back to pages and I find the join us page, if I wanted to add golden membership in, I can simply do that. I'll paste the short code into text view. And then I can simply update. And now when I open this page on the front end, you can see that a customer would be able to sign up to my golden membership by clicking on the buy now button. Once a customer clicks on the buy now button, they'll be directed to PayPal. That brings me to the end of this tutorial on scenario one for membership sign up. You can find more information about the setup process in the eMember documentation page.